This is chapter number one, calculation of file size. Uh, by the way, I think you have seen uh, the video regarding file size also, for like file file calculations and everything. So please go through it once again if you really want to know what file actually is and how to handle the files. Now, the very first thing that we need to know is how is a bitmap image represented? First thing is bitmap images are made up of pixels and I hope that you remember that pixels are the short form of picture elements and any any image is made up of a 2D uh, matrix of pixels. Pixels can take different shapes. As you can see, on one side, they are represented in a horizontal form and on the other side, you can see that they're represented in the form of your, uh, you can say circles. These both are possible in your bitmaps. Remember, each pixel is represented as a binary value. So if I am storing a bitmap image in a computer, it's going to be basically a combination of binary values. How is it done? If, for example, your picture is a black and white image, it means it will require only one bit per pixel. Definitely, the pixel will either be a black or a white. So that is why it is going to need only one bit for one pixel, which is either going to store a value of one or the value of a zero. Definitely no third, second value is possible. In case your, uh, if each pixel is, re is represented by two bits, then the number of combinations are going to be four. And what are those four colors? Either you have both the bits a zero, or the first bit is a zero and the second bit is a one, or the first bit is a one and second bit is a zero, or both the bits are ones. So these are only four combinations possible if you are storing your data in two pixels. Your bitmap image is storing the data in two, uh, in two bits. Moving on to the third combination, if your pixel is represented by three bits, then each pixel can be of eight colors. And as you can see, the combinations will be all zeros, or zero, zero, one, or zero, one, zero, or zero, double, one, or one, zero, zero, or one, zero, one, or double, one, zero, or all ones. So I know that this concept is very much clear that if the image is requiring one bit per pixel, then combinations will be two. If the pixel is uh, represented by two bits, then the combinations will be four. And on the contrary, if the pixel is, re is represented by three bits, then there will be eight combinations. And the formula is very simple, just two to the power the number of bits. I hope that it's going to make some sense. So if you get a question like this, you should be able to find out the answer just by placing the number of bits as a power of two, and then you will be able to figure out the number of combinations. Now let's move on to some new terms that you need to know uh, for your paper. Uh, the number of bits used to represent each color is called the color depth. An eight bit color depth means that each bit will be using uh, or uh, will be actually composed of or will give you 256 colors. The way we have learned 2 to the power 8, the way we have learned 2 to the power 1 was uh, 2 combinations, 2 to the power 2 was 4 combinations, 2 to the power 3 was 8 combinations. So similarly here, if there are, are 8 bits being used, then the number of combinations are going to be 256 as 2 to the power 8 is 256. Now, if I talk about the, the recent computers, the ones that we are using nowadays, they normally have a 24-bit color depth, and that means it can represent 
over 16 million different colors. See, such a huge value. Okay, that's great, Ali. I, I'm really very happy that you can recall something similar to this that you have, we have actually touched in our uh, hexadecimal uses. That's wonderful. That actually it's going to be 24 bits means it will be uh, 2 to the power 24 and that makes nearly 16 million colors. If, for example, I increase the color depth, so definitely it will result in increasing the size of the file. I mean, that is directly proportional. Color depth increase means the file size also increases. One more term, image resolution. What is it actually? It is the number of pixels that make up an image. Like, for example, if an image is containing 4096 into 3072 pixels, then you simply multiply, and what you obtain such a huge value is the number of pixels in total for that particular image. Got it? Okay. Drawbacks. What are the drawbacks of high resolution? Any idea? Okay. Think about it. If I ha have high resolution uh, images, then are there any drawbacks? Think about it and let me know. Okay, that's wonderful, Ali. Actually, the very first thing it is going to result in increase of the file size. As the number of pixels are uh, increased, so definitely the file size also increases. That's wonderful. And definitely it will also have an impact on the time to download an image or even transfer the image from one place to another, from one device to another. So that is what you need to know, the drawback that are involved in using a high uh, image resolution or if you are using uh, more pixels. Now we are learning a very, very important topic that will really help you a lot and be very cautious. And remember, we are never ever allowed to use a calculator. This is what you always need to remember. Now you can see the formula is very simple. Image resolution in pixels multiply by color depth. This is your formula. And let's do an activity, an example. A camera detector has an array of 2048 by 2048 pixels and uses a color depth of 16 bits. Find the size of an image taken by this camera in MIB, which is actually, yes, what is it? Maybe bytes. That's wonderful. That's great. Now let's see stage wise. I'm telling you everything to be done one by one so that you can understand and remember. The very first step is you will multiply the number of pixels together vertically and horizontally. And luckily here, it's basically the same. Uh, so you have just written. And again, please remember that do not start multiplying. Always rely on simplification because then your work will become easier to handle. You will not face any problems. You will not uh, have any, you can say, mistakes made if you follow the instructions that are given today. Just simply write them down. Then in the next line, you will mention the number of pixels to be multiplied by the color depth. And here in this question, since color depth is 16, that is why 2048 into 2048 into 16 is written. And this bit is just made, written here to make you comprehend that this is going to result in the value of bits. Fine. Now, remember the third stage. Still, I have not done anything. I've not done any multiplication or division or anything like that. I'm still simply writing down the stages. Then second, third stages, you will multiply the bits by eight to find out the number of bytes. Please remember this stage is very, very important. So you can always get the, the correct answer. Bits to be converted into bytes. And remember the unit that is the requirement is basically MIB. So what are we going to do is now we are going to divide the whole the whole process, the whole value by 1024 into 1024. Okay, now I have a question. Uh, before I proceed to the, uh, to the explanation of this whole working, I have a question. If assume that it was written, find the size of an image taken by this camera uh, only, so will you still go with 1024 into 1024? 
definitely not fine. If it was dealing with convert this into KIB, then KB binds. Great, Ali. Definitely you will be dividing it by 1024 only. That's wonderful. Now, this is what we need to see. Since my requirement is to find out the image, uh, to, to find out the size of the image in MIB, that's why I am going to divide it by 1024 into 1024. Okay, now very simple. I've simply then done what eight is eight one side eight and eight two is a sixteen. The very first thing is I did this. Then one zero two four one side one zero two four and one zero two four two is a is two zero four eight. Again, these are just the multiples. And uh, by the way, uh, some part of it you have already covered in conversions. So I hope that you know one zero two four and then uh, two zero four eight and then uh, other other values. So in this manner you can remember and you are always going to get the right answer. Then the next 1024 in the denominator is cancelled out with the uh, 2048 value in the numerator. And in this manner, I got the answer 2 into 2 into 2 as 8 MIB in such a short time. And the answer is also accurate. The best thing is answer is accurate. So please follow this instruction so that you are getting the right answer in a shorter time and you are going to score. It's hardly uh, five minutes, not more than five minutes taken, and you can easily score three or four marks. And remember, each step has marks. Okay? Are you ready for another question? Now, this is example number two. Now, just read. Jessica wants to store a large number of images on a USB flash memory, uh, memory drive. Each thumbnail image is 16-bit color and is 104 pixels wide and 512 pixels high. She has 512 MIB or maybe bytes of storage space available on her USB flash memory drive. Calculate how many images she can store in the 512 MIB or maybe bytes of storage space. Show all your working. Now, please be very cautious. By the way, is, it, is this similar to the last question? Yes, uh, Saad, excellent. Uh, it's similar, but... It's a stage ahead. Now you have to figure out that how many images are going to be stored in the given storage uh, that is uh, 512 uh, maybe bytes. Uh, by the way, one more caution that you need, but just a revision. By the way, can I say USB? Okay, that's great. Uh, wonderful. Remember, you remember that's great that USB is the port. And here, if I am storing the data, on a storage, then the memory store storage is going to be USB flash memory. Now, let's see. What type should I do first? Who can help me out? The very first stage, as we have learned, is we are going to multiply. That's excellent, Ali, that we are going to multiply the pixels together. And you can see here, multiply the number of pixels in vertical and horizontal directions to find out the total pixels. And the, since the pixels are 1024 into 512, that's why the first stage is simply handling it this way. Second stage, that you have to multiply the pixels by color depth and then divide by eight. So here you will get the number of value in bytes. And I'm, here I've done it in one go because you have understood it. That's why uh, it's done uh, in one stage only. So since the color depth is 16 bits, that's why multiply by 16 and divide by eight to find out the value in bytes. Now, since I have to find out the value in MIB, that's why what I did was the next stage is 1024 into 512 into 16 divided by 8 the same. And since it was uh, maybe by that's why the same procedure into 1024 into 1024. And here you can see the cancellation. Uh, by the way, I think it's very simple. 8 1s are 8, 8 2 is 16. Fine. 1024, 1024, numerator, denominator cancelled out. And then why we are left with 512, 512 ones are 512 and 512 the twos are is 1024. And then that two is cancelled out with the uh, numerator two. And then what we get is one MIB. Isn't it simple? That's, isn't it? Rather than multiplying, we are simply working on the simplification process and we got the correct answer. Now, it's very simple. Just apply the same uh, method that you people have been learning uh, till now in uh, math that it's basically the direct portion 
Now you are going to divide the memory six times, memory stick size by the file size. And you can see 512 divided by one equals to 512 images. So in this manner, you can simply write down the answer and you are getting the right answer in such a short span of time. Now, once we are done with this, now another one is we have to work on calculation of sound file also. And for that, the formula is the size of a mono sound file is sample rate in hertz multiplied by sample resolution in bits multiplied by length of sample in seconds. That is what we need to know that the length of the sample should be in seconds. But for a stereo, you simply have to multiply the result by two. So simple. For mono file, the formula is given to you. For stereo, you have to multiply the result by two. And the term that you need to know the definition of is sampling rate. And it's the number of sound samples taken per second. And it's measured in hertz, where one hertz means one sample per second. Another term is the way we have learned image resolution, similarly sampling resolution. And the number of bits per sample is known as sampling resolution. And another word for it is bit depth. Be clear, the questions come in the paper and you have to answer them. Calculation of sound file. How do we do it? Let's see an example. An audio CD has a sample rate of 44,100 and a sample resolution of 16 bits. Music being sampled uses two channels to allow for stereo recording. Calculate the file size for a 16 minute recording. Now you will apply the same formula, sample rate in hertz, multiply by resolution in bits, multiply by length of sample in seconds. Remember the formula is length of sample in seconds. Now size is 44,100 multiplied by 16, multiply by 16 to 60. Why is it being done? 16 to 60. To find out the value in bits then multiply by two so that you can get the answer of two channels which is stereo then we're going to divide it by eight to find out the number of bytes okay now why have i done it like that uh it's actually something that you can uh, do it that way also when that's perfectly okay and still you will be getting the correct answer the way we have obtained it right now then you will divide it by 1048576, or you can simply divide it by 1024 into 1024, and then what you get is 605 MIB. So I think it's very much simple. Isn't it similar to that? You can apply it in this manner, or you can apply it the way we have learned of doing the simplification process. Both the answers are going to be exactly the same. Any questions, any ambiguity regarding the Calculation of a sound file or calculation of the image file. Any questions? Okay, Jazakallah Khairin Kasira. Thanks for being Jazakallah Khairin Kasira for being a part of the learning journey. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel with your friends and family so that they all are going to benefit from it. And uh, do uh, be uh, thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.